So I feel like this autumn has been such a great one, like fashion wise. I've been really feeling my wardrobe lately and like my most worn pieces are so easy to style and mix and match in different ways. It's like endless combinations. So when planning this video and which four outfits I've been repeat wearing most lately, it turned out that most of them kind of blend into each other and one item from one outfit can easily be worn in the other styles as well. But you know, that's the beauty of a versatile sort of scaled down classic wardrobe, how style friendly it is. I put some links in the description for the products that I'm talking about, but some of them I've had for ages, so they might not still be for sale. Take a look below if any of these are up your street. I've just been loving the preppy sort of dark academia style lately. I'm always quite keen on mini skirts, but especially in this dark schoolgirl type of look, it's quite easy to style as well with a shirt or a blouse or a crop top as a base and then layering with knitwear like a cardigan or a sweater or with a blazer. And for accessories, this style is so fun because we can have all these like classic academia things like berets or headbands or ties or neck ribbons and like for sure the knee high socks. For me, it's important to keep it dark and to sweet because I always like want to balance the cuteness with like heavy shoes or I want to look to be a bit on the more dangerous side, you know. Think the craft, not mean girls. I think it was my friend Storm who said on Instagram that ever since she had her baby, she's been going up a size in jeans just to be more comfortable. So I actually tried it because baby or no baby, I want to be comfortable. And I know that I don't ever like reach for items that aren't. So I went and bought these barrel jeans from Marquette. And yes, you know what? They might be my favorite pair of jeans ever. I don't know why I haven't done the one size up trick before because these are actually comfy enough to wear lounging around the house and I've never done that with jeans before because I hate how stiff they usually are. I know I've talked about this now and then for like three years with you guys but I've been on the lookout for the perfect trench coat that I don't want to invest in one until I found one which is both like completely timeless, so I only have to get one trench coat like ever, but that's still not boring because I know myself, if I get an item which is so classic that it has like no personality, I won't reach for it. So I like classic pieces, but I'm not a fan of too basic, if that makes sense. There needs to be some kind of quirk, otherwise I feel boring and too normal. So I did like an Instagram sponsored thing with Normal Basic and they sent me this trench coat style and like, I liked it a lot in the photos on the website, but you never know until you put it on in real life, right? But immediately, as soon as I put it on, I loved it so hard. Like styling jeans in a trench coat couldn't be easier. And personally, this autumn, I've been liking the Chelsea boots or loafers, come on, hmm, how gorgeous. And an oversized bag or a scarf or a cap if I'm going for like extremely casual. Okay, once again, a huge thank you to Vivaya for sponsoring the video this week. I have received three pairs from their autumn winter collection to show you. Now, something you should know about Vivaya is that each pair of shoes are made from six plastic bottles and they're using a 3D printing technique to spin an eco yarn that the shoes are then made of. Very futuristic. Most of the styles are also, luckily, machine washable, so no need to worry about getting them dirty, which I usually worry about because honestly, I'm quite a klutz. And the rest are all hand washable. Plus, they're also easy to fold up and pack if you have any trips coming up. From their new autumn winter collection, I got the Melissa boots in a nutmeg color. And I actually already have the Melissa boots in black, so I know that they're super comfortable to walk in, even for me who like never ever wear anything but flats. I don't know, it's just something about nutmeg that really does it for me at the moment. I want everything to be in this exact color. Like even if we're adopting a dog right now, I'd be like hoping for it to be nutmeg colored. Are you also feeling this specific color this season? It's so nice. Anyway, I also got two pairs of the Margot 2.0 fur flats, one in beige and one in black. I like that they're both simple, but a bit quirky at the same time. And I think that they will be really fun to style. They have this cushion heel padding, which makes them very comfortable at the back of the foot. And they have a super soft yoga mat midsole as well for extra comfort. Listen to that. I also got a pair of the Kimberly fluffy loafers. They have anti-slip rubber outsoles, which is good for slippery winter streets. And I've been trying to find good vegan loafers for ages. And these are both fun, but also like totally wearable and a bit warmer, which I'm not complaining about for sure at the moment. It's getting quite nippy. Now, if you ask me, I think you should go get your very own vegan Vivaya shoes for this winter and use a discount code. I will put it in the description 
description box. They have worldwide shipping and free returns and exchanges as well. Also down in the description box, I will put all the links to the styles that I have showed you in this video. So click and have a look. A big thank you to Vivaya and let's get back to the video. I feel like if you're wearing a blazer with huge shoulder, it's like, that's it. You don't really have to make any more effort than that. You will look hot already. Very Swedish minimalism. I wear blazers to everything. My favorite is my black totem cotton one. That's like probably the number one staple in my wardrobe. Seriously, I've worn it so many times. It was quite expensive. I think it was over 500 pounds, but I'll never get bored with it. It's amazing in quality and it's the one investment piece I'm most happy with ever. My other favorite I just got this spring is gifted from Sundar Bay. It's this vegan leather granddad blazer and I wear these two blazers over anything. But my repeat wear outfit recently has been to wear it with a turtleneck or t-shirt and then slim legs, either slim trousers or leggings or with naked legs. It's a fun silhouette, don't you think? Like the boxy upper body with like the slim legs. If I want to go full on Swedish, I wear a sweater tied around my shoulders and ballet flats or loafers or Chelsea boots with this. But usually I want to quirk it up a little bit so I go with chunky shoes instead. I'm sure you've seen all of the socials, those like super sized jeans and trousers that sit really low on the hip and then drag on the floor, like covering almost your whole foot. I love it. What can I say? I really do. It just looks so relaxed to me, like so laid back, but with an edge, you know? I got my pair of high-waisted Jacquemus trousers that I've shown you before, and I got a new pair of white jeans that I got gifted from Marquette, and these are my new sunny weather favorite because well, white floor length isn't really practical when it's like wet and muddy. I wear both of these trousers with heavy boots or chunky sneakers and a big sweatshirt or trench coat. That's the look, like big everything. It's a very sporty look. Anyway, I'm still looking for the perfect pair of light blue ones. I want to get like vintage menswear 90s Levi's, but I haven't found a good pair yet. Do you like this look or is it too much for you? Out of all of them, I think the classic trench coat barrel jeans look would probably be the most long lived because, well, I feel like it's not just long lived, it's more or less like immortal, don't you think? Hope these outfits that I've been wearing on repeat can give you some ideas. And if there's any like outfit that you've been wearing on repeat lately, I want to know. Okay, I will see you next week, I hope. Give me a like if you want more of these types of style diaries videos and subscribe if you haven't yet, why don't you? Talk to you soon. Okay, bye bye, peace, peace.